when you settle in with the breath like this. It's not just for the few minutes that we're sitting here. You want to be able to carry that with you as you go through the day so you can be prepared. You know the old Boy Scout motto, be prepared. Well, that's a lot of what the Buddha has to teach you. Be prepared. Don't be complacent. There are dangers outside. There are dangers inside. The dangers outside are not so much the things that people can do to you physically or things they can say to you. It's the things they get you to do. You've got to watch out for that. Of course, inside there are your, your own defilements. You've got to watch out for those as well, because they can come up at any time. And you've always got to be prepared. As the Buddha said, his last words were to achieve completion, he said, through heedfulness, through non-complacency. All too often, something hits us in the course of the day and say, well, I didn't have time to get my mind on the breath. Well, your mind should have been on the breath already. Your excuse for leaving the breath is you have something important to think about. When you think about it, then you come back. And then you're ready, prepared. So when things, when things strike the mind, you're ready for them. You can handle them. You've got a good place to stand. You've got a good standpoint here in the body. It's one of the reasons why we focus on the breath, energy in the body, rather than the air coming in and out through the nose. This is a lot more solid. It's a lot more secure place to take a stance. That way, whatever happens around you, no matter how windy it is or how many people there are around you, what are the noises, other things, you're right here. You're fully here in a place that is your own. That's what you do as you go through the breath energies in the body and learn how to recognize them and learn how to work with them. After all, this is the part of your awareness that is exclusive to you. Nobody else can feel the body from the inside the way you do. Even if they stick their hand down through your mouth, they still can feel it the way you do. And so this is your territory. Make the most of the fact that this is yours. It may not be totally under your control, but there are ways that you can adjust it. The Buddha didn't tell us to simply accept things as they come and just put up with them. There are a lot of things outside that we may have to accept, but things inside the mind especially, we don't have to just sit there and, and suffer from them. We can do something about them. And so learn your skills and then use them. And always be prepared for whatever comes up. The aging is going to come, illness is going to come, separation, death, these things are going to come. Beyond that, there are the, just the little things in the course of the day that get your anger aroused, to get your greed aroused. You're going to be prepared for these things. So give yourself a good foundation so that these things don't knock you over. Be prepared. And that's how you develop this quality of non-complacency.